Welcome to 3rd of January's Godly Blessing. Think about when you follow somebody, let's say your boss, let's say your own parents, or let's say your family members or somebody senior. And when you follow them to the T, you receive blessings from them, right? That means they're happy with you and they guide you and they help you out and they they become your support in your life. In a similar manner, think about following Supreme Creator. That means following God's guidance on a daily basis. What kind of blessings will you get? How much of peace of mind, how much of lightness, how much of lightheartedness will you have in your life? Imagine that. That is what we're going to explore today in today's Godly Blessing. So God is saying, may you be obedient and place your steps in the Father's footsteps and thereby receive God's blessings. Now, Father's footsteps means Father Brahma. Father Brahma is the father of all Brahmins. Brahmins are those souls who are following the pure divine guidance of the Supreme Creator. And the Supreme Creator is guiding all the Brahmins so that they can become divine human beings in their coming next age. That is the golden age or the next birth, which is going to come after this Kalyuk gets over with. So God says to be obedient means to place your steps in Bab Dada's footsteps. Bab Dada's footsteps. Dada means elder brother. Adam or Brahma is the eldest brother. And Bab means the supreme creator. That is to follow his orders. Only such obedient children receive God's blessings in all relationships. So whether you consider him to be a companion, whether you consider him to be a friend, whether you consider him to be your own uh, own brother, you consider him to be your own father or mother, whatsoever you are lacking in your life, you can build up that beautiful relationship with him. Because being a soul, he's infinite. And infinite means he can play many roles. This is also a law. In an ordinary way too, when you carry out a task... According to a person's direction. Imagine that. Whoever's task you carry out, you definitely receive blessings from that person. That's what we discussed. Anybody, it can be any person in your life. If you follow that person's guidance and if you make them happy about it, they give you their blessings. Now here it's not about making God happy. It's about being in sync with his vibration so that we can attract and pull his vibrations so that we can raise our vibrations so as to take his pure and powerful energy within us. There's a difference over here. They will become happy human beings. They'll give you their blessings. In terms of godly blessings, we'll raise our vibrations so that, you know, we choose certain things which he says don't do and we choose certain things which he says do. So when he says don't do, we don't choose those things. When he says do this, we only choose that. There are certain do's and don'ts that is for our own vibration to increase. Now if we do certain things which he says don't do, let's say, for example, in the previous blessings also we have discussed, talking ill about somebody, listening ill about someone, having grudges with somebody, not forgiving someone, looking at the bad in others, there are certain things, these practices are there which we have controlling other people, manipulating other people, when we have these practices within us, which God says don't do, then our vibrations come down. And when we sit in meditation, we cannot pull his power. We cannot pull his love. We cannot feel his energy. It's as simple as that. So indirectly, his blessings are not received by us. God then says, according to a person's direction, whosoever's task you carry out, you definitely receive blessings from that person. Here, these are God's blessings and they make obedient souls constantly double light. That means you feel lighter in your mind and you feel lighter in your connection with God. As simple as that. Imagine your life will be so smooth. How about that? And this is all possible when you come to Brahma Kumaris and you take the first day understanding and you learn meditation. And you go ahead with the next couple of days and you realize how lighter you feel, how peaceful you feel, how divine you start becoming for your own sake. To learn more about it, do visit the Brahma Kumari Center. 
next door to you most probably yes it's coming next door to you very soon with this om shanti